Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with another daily update video and we got a lot to cover in this video today. So first off, talk a little bit about the market overall. I'm going to talk about my trade on AMD and then stick around to the end of the video because I got great news for you. I'm going to show you some more order flow data and I got a special deal for you guys if you stick around to the end. So let's get right into it. Let's take a look at the heat map here. Mixture of red and green on the board, but mostly red. And if you're following the market all day long, you know that kind of the big sectors, the big tech sectors did not have a good day. Apple had a big sell off today. Today they released their iPhone 12. And again, you know, it was another instance of buy the rumor and sell the news. They had a huge run up yesterday, up over 6%. And then the conference broke today. And you can see pretty big sell off, down 2.7%. Other big tech, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, all pretty much flat. I mean, just squeaking by into the green. The semiconductor sector, you know, my favorite sector right now. AMD, unfortunately, was up 1.2%. So if you saw my video from last night, I kind of predicted or I thought that today would be a red day. And it kind of was, except the semi sector did not get the memo. Micron was up 2.3%. It's nice to see the Honey Badger back up into the 50s again. It's been hovering in the mid to high 40s for quite some time. Nvidia was pretty much flat, but we'll take a look at the order flow on AMD again, because actually, if you looked at the order flow from my video last night, it was correct. There were a lot of calls that were being bought yesterday. And so today, kind of if you follow the order flow, then today AMD was green. So you would have done well if you had bought calls or put on other bullish trades. So we'll take a look at the order flow that happened today to see if it holds up for two days in a row to try and predict what AMD is gonna do tomorrow. But speaking of AMD, let's look at my AMD trade. So I have 200 shares of AMD that I got assigned at $85 that I've been selling covered calls against for the past few weeks. And yesterday, I opened up two covered calls that expire not this Friday, but next Friday at the $90 strike. And I received $130 premium for each contract. And I sold two contracts, so my max profit for two weeks of holding that option if I let it expire to max profit would be $260. So unfortunately, I got really excited because once the market opened from 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, in the first 10 minutes, we dipped down to a minus 0.3% compared to where we closed yesterday. So I was pretty happy, I was looking pretty good because the further AMD dipped, that meant the more time decay and the further away the strike was from the share price, and that means I just collect more premium in case I wanted to close this out early. I was hoping that I could collect at least 30% in premium at the end of the day today, maybe even 50% if it was a fantastic day, and then just close out the position. As we can see in the graph, that didn't really happen. And the weird thing is, is we, we peaked at basically just before noon time. We were up 2%, so I was actually in the red on my options because the price was so high, it was almost up to $86. And then we sold off really quickly. And this sell off was because around this time, a certain someone in the Fed tweeted out that they are gonna try one more time to get to an agreement on the stimulus package next week. And then if that doesn't work, then there's gonna be no stimulus until after the election. So that was what caused the sell off here in my opinion. And then Nancy tweeted out that she is not agreeing to whatever the Republicans' plans are. So despite that, actually, the markets continued to rally back up again, which is a little bit odd because we've pretty much kind of acknowledged, and I don't think personally that we're going to have a stimulus passing before the election just because there's too much bickering going on, in my opinion. But AMD still was able to rally. Then during power hours, sold off a little bit. But even after hours, you can see we closed, or we're currently trading at 85.35. So we're up about 1.2% today. So that means that my options are probably not looking too great because not that much data day has happened, but let's just see where we are. So I sold cover calls for the following Friday, October 23rd. And if we take a look at the $90 strike price, if I scroll up, you can see they're currently trading for $1.23. So I am profitable, but only by $7. I mean, at the end of the day yesterday and in the morning, these things were trading for a little over a dollar. And I was up about 22% or so by the end of the day yesterday and the morning today. 
So if I had a time machine, I would go back in time and just close out these positions yesterday or this morning and then open up, I could open up the same exact position and do the same thing over again while having locked in profits on the earlier position. But what are you gonna do? You know, yesterday was really the first day that I seriously took a look at the order flow, but I wanna do a little bit more testing and experimenting. And so let's just take a look at the trading view chart first before we get to the order flow data for today. And this is AMD again, these are daily candles. So each candle represents one day of trading. And the one good thing that happened, and I mentioned it in my video yesterday, was that I believe around $83, $84 is an area of support. Because that's where I drew this trend line based on some of this price action here. And that's also where the 23.6% Fibonacci level is. Now, what I wanted to see today, and that's what happened, was I wanted us to confirm that we are gonna bounce up and off this and trade in this range from about $83, $84 to about $87. And that's exactly what happened. We opened the day in the green and we closed the day in the green above $83. We actually closed, like I said, a little above $85. So to me, that means that if you wanted to sell cash your puts, I would wanna sell them below a strike of about $83 because I think this is gonna hold the best support. But we'll have to see what happens tomorrow. I am hoping for a little bit of a pullback, not just in AMD, but in the market overall. And again, I'll tell you why. But let's take a look at SPY as a sneak peek here because SPY had a red day today. It was down just about 0.7%. And you can see the trend line that I have most recently is at about 347, 348. I'm looking at this graph and I'm wondering if there's another area of trend right around 350 here because there's the tops of these two candles here on August 28th and 31st. And then you wonder if the bottom of this candle, you know, somewhere around here in the 350 range, if there is another area of support, something maybe closer to this per se, it's somewhere around 350, I think. So let's keep that here, see if that holds up tomorrow and where we go from there. But We'll have to see, again, same scenario. Are we gonna bounce up and off this trend line or are we gonna continue down? Now, we'll take a look at the SPY order flow as well. And let's get right into that right now. So first off, let's take a look at the AMD order flow today. There were not that many order flows, only 13 throughout the day today. But as we can see, these green boxes represent call options, the red represent puts. So you can see the majority of the order flow are calls. And actually, if you look at the days to expiration, the majority are weeklies. So you can see a lot of order flows coming in for 85 strike calls expiring this Friday. There's 87.50, there's a 93 call, which was actually the biggest order of the day at $315,000, which is almost the monthly, it's for October 30th. But all this price action tells me that people are bullish on AMD this week. I mean, take a look at this. The majority, all but three of these order flows are weekly expirations that are on Friday for usually 85 or 87.50. There's a lot of money that got put into AMD calls today. So if I believe this, and we'll confirm this tomorrow, but this is something similar to what I saw on the order flow yesterday, and today we had a green day. So this, my hypothesis would be, based on this order flow data, that we might have another green day tomorrow. And if that happens, that's gonna be bittersweet for me for my covered calls because that means that I'm gonna lose money in my premiums, but you know what? Even if I get my shares called away at $90 a share, I'm still gonna be overall profitable because I'm gonna collect stock appreciation plus the total premium that I've collected. We'll have to wait and see, but I am really liking this order flow data right now. And while we're here, let's take a look at the SPY order flow. So obviously, as you can expect, there's a lot many more orders that came through or flow data that came through on SPY today. But take a look at this graph or this chart here. The majority of these SPY order flows are puts, right? They're all red. And you can see they're scattered, right? Some are for tomorrow, October 14th. Some are for longer expirations like the next week or even into November. But you can see a lot of these order flows are October 14th, which is tomorrow. And there's a lot of puts. So that tells me, if you believe the order flow data, that tomorrow is gonna be another red day for the S&P 500. We'll have to confirm that. I mean, I'm very curious to see how accurate this order flow data is, but if you're interested in checking this out, this website is called tradeui.com and they were gracious enough to supply my viewers with a 5% off discount code and I'm gonna show you how to use it right now. 
So if you go to their website, which is tradeui.com, T-R-A-D-E-U-I.com, and the link is gonna be in the video description below, you can sign up. And if you use the signup code solopreneur, so basically the channel name as the discount code, you will get 5% off your membership. And they have many different plans to fit your budget. You can pay monthly, quarterly, every six months, or yearly for the biggest discount. And if you pay the yearly subscription, you will get a free one-on-one -on -one hour long tutorial session with members of the team to basically get you going and explain how the program works. So on top of this, you can get an additional 5% off if you use my discount code, again, solopreneur. And if you're into this, if you're curious about order flow, I will tell you right now, Trade UI is the cheapest option on the market. There are other people that do the same thing for much, much more pricier plans. And not only that, but you're gonna get an additional 5% off with my discount code. So let me know what you think about it. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Hop in our Discord server if you're not in there already. And as always, happy trading.